Welcome, everyone, to another edition of To Your Health, a program designed to bring you information on healthy living, featuring those who make healthy living lifestyles achievable. I'm your host, Fred Zucker, coming to you from the Parker University campus in Dallas, Texas. Today, our special guests are Dr. Logan Sherman. Dr. Logan Sherman graduated from Parker in 2013, and Mr. Steve Weller, who is the Director of Athletics and Recreation here at Parker University. Welcome, gentlemen. Glad you could be here. Thank you. Dr. Sherman is a well-known person here at Parker University. In fact, he graced the cover of our very popular alumni magazine, Parker Today, this gentleman right here in this photograph, Dr. Sherman completing the 2015 Dallas Marathon. In fact, he is the reigning champion of the Dallas Marathon. Congratulations, Dr. Sherman. Thank you. We're glad that you could be with us today. Dr. Sherman, tell us a little bit about your background, your career, and what brought you to to Parker University. It's a fascinating story I'd like to hear about. Well, first off, I want to uh, say thank you for, for allowing me to come up here and, and speak with y'all. Um, you know, Parker's always had a big place in my heart. Um, right when I started, stepped on campus and met Steve, um, you know, I just fell in love with it. And the, the changes that are happening around campus and that are beneficial for students, it's it's amazing to see in yeah. firsthand. So it's been a little while since I've been back, and uh, uh, it just feels like home every time I get back here. So Great. thank y'all. Um, you know, I... Uh, uh, I'm born and raised in Dallas, and, and I'm not far from here. I'm right up the street, actually, in, in Richardson areas where I grew up. And, mm. um, you know, I am raised from a family that's pretty active. My dad's a huge, huge runner. He's run 25, 50 ultra marathons, marathons. Wow. And he's, uh, he, he's, a, he's, a, he's a been in the running community here for quite some time. I um, uh, kind of went through uh, a... a a phase of my life where I wasn't as healthy growing up. Mm. Uh, my parents had gotten divorced and, you know, I, I wasn't really focused on my health and sure. really my studies. And so, uh, when I got into about the end of middle school, I decided to kind of veer off and, and start exercising. I started playing baseball. I started playing ice hockey. I, I started running and really I, I looked at my dad and I wanted to kind of bond with him. He was such a big runner. He was in the running community. We would go to White Rock Lake, a huge running center here in, uh, in Dallas and right. 10, 20 people would say hi to him. And I just felt like that was it. You know, I wanted to kind of fill those, uh, those shoes and have that respect and sure. that, that, um, that affection with people in a community. And, uh, so I, uh, I started running and, and, and soon thereafter I started having some back difficulties. Uh, my back hurt I think it was a combination of hockey and combination of running. Um, and so my dad, you know, he's an outside of the box thinker. He really tries different things. And so he took me and tried orthotics and we tried different, um, shoes and we tried everything under, under the sun that he could think of. Right. Um, and, and eventually he decided, Hey, let's, let's try a chiropractor. Let's try chiropractic. And so, uh, I saw my first chiropractor. I think I was probably about, uh, about 12, 13 years old. Um, great great first experience. I mean, he was one of those guys really studied what was going on, right. analyzed the, the person that was in front of him and not just kind of gave, um, kind of a generalized adjustment, um, gave me some exercises. I felt immediately re- immediate relief. And so, you know, continuing on with the exercises cause I wanted to get better. Um, eventually got out of back pain and, and progressed in through my running career and, and, finished running in high school and, and eventually went over to college and uh, at the college level ran at Texas A&M and uh, loved it and loved traveling. Uh, towards my, towards the end of my career there, I actually ended up developing some some back issues again. Uh, and, and this time it was, it was pretty debilitating. I wasn't able to mm. practice. I wasn't able to mm. run. And, and we were kind of getting towards the end of the cross country season. Um, and I remember getting an adjustment then and saying, this, this, this works. I need to, I need to really look into this as a, as a profession. I mean, I love helping people. I love people. I love the interactions. Why not, why not kind of, uh, see what this has in store? And, and uh, it was probably about 2009. I came up here, um, and went to my first open house and I met, uh, Steve, um, (laughs) and just, and he still came here. He still came. came Amazing. (laughs) Amazing. (laughs) I, I felt at home, you know, uh, it was, it was, it was a, what Dr. Mancini at that time had, had spoken about and the power of it. It just really spoke to me and how I felt. Um, 
and I, 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 you know, made, made a quick decision to, to come over here and, and, uh, you know, finish at A&M and complete my undergraduate, um, uh, uh, prereqs to get into Parker. And, um, I just, uh, I couldn't be more grateful for the experience I've had and, and everything that I've learned while I've been here. That's great. Steve, do you remember that first meeting? With I Dr. do. Sherman? I, I do as a fact. I, I think I surprised him because I knew a little bit more about his background than yeah. he thought. He, he came right. in under the radar, he thought, and, and uh, uh, what he didn't know was uh, many years earlier before he went to A&M, uh, he was recruited by the University of Texas at Arlington. I was working in their athletic department at that time. And uh, John Sauerheg, their head coach, was a friend and, mm. and threw out that name several times in meetings we had. And, and uh, I just stuck. And, and I saw his name come across the list uh, of students here at the open house and had to go and, and take the opportunity to meet him and, and say hello to him and met his dad. And, and uh, um, as I say, the rest is history. He's, he's been here in spite of the words I gave yeah, him. And, well, and, I'm uh, sure that uh, uh, maybe, maybe helped a little bit. I'd, I'd say he, he, his years here at Parker were memorable. Well, it's uh, it, one of many great athletes who have chosen to come to Park University. Tell us a bit about the, the athletics and recreation program here at Park well, University State. Well, I tell you, as, I, as I mentioned earlier, I came here from the University of Texas at Arlington. I'd spent 24 years in NCAA schools, and I came here with the idea that the type of athlete we're going to be working with is going to be the guy that probably struggled to make his high school varsity team. Maybe he played some JV ball. Maybe he... he um, Intramurals. Got into the YMCA leagues mm. and that type of thing. But I came here, and one of the first people I met was a guy named Jay Humphreys. Jay was uh, six seven, about 350 pounds, just finished four years of NFL and World Football League stuff. And then I met some other people. You know, Neil Gardner was an mm -hmm. Olympian and, right. and honoree at the University of Michigan and the Bo Schimbuckle Hall of Fame. And, and I thought, what am I getting myself into here? And, so, and, <laughs> and, and that's kind of been the trademark of the – 13 years that I've been here is we've always had athletes that would amaze you that are here. Uh, Logan's credentials are, are second to none in, in the right. Dallas area and running. Right. Um, we've had a, Nate Funk who, while he was a student at Parker, uh, was inducted into the Creighton University Basketball Hall of Fame yeah. up there in, in Omaha. Uh, we've had uh, um, Matt Lowe who is a national team swimmer. Uh, I mean, people who not only exceeded in college, but did it beyond that uh, on national levels on professional levels and and uh, uh and it's a thrill for me to work with those kind of athletes as as well as the the uh, college athletes our program really allows a student who thought their athletic career was over when they came to medical school or come to parker um right. well, they, they, they thought yeah they thought it was over and we give an opportunity to continue it now there's something coming up in just a week or two the cairo game Tell us a little bit about Parker's experience with Cairo Games, what well, they're all about. We've, we've had some success, and it's, it's uh, a lot of that success comes from people like Logan. Uh, uh, you know, every year we go down there, and every year the guy who manages the running competition asks about Logan and also says, you got any other guys like him around? You know, so he's, <laughs> right. I, 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 I'll tell a quick story of, of Logan. The first year he went down to the Cairo Games, and um, – you know, Parker's got a pretty good reputation, so the guy knew we'd have a good team. And he comes up to me and says, how good are you guys this year? And I says, I think we're all right. I said, uh, I said, get that clock running pretty good, though, because uh, we got a guy that's going to finish up in a little over 15 minutes. And he looked at me and says, no, nah, you're not going to get a guy. <laughs> not, not a, no, this is the Cairo games. You're not going to get a guy games. getting about 15 minutes. And uh, I says, I think it would be in about, my guess is about 15, 20, and a 5K. This is when we had Logan held back him to held him back to just a five k. Mm -hmm. I says I figured about fifteen twenty. Well, he says no way. Well, Logan did fifteen ten that year. Fifteen ten. I'll never forget that. You know, and and uh, and won easily, of course, and stuff. So um, that's what we've got going ahead next weekend. We're going on to the Cairo Games. We've got one hundred and five student athletes. One hundred and five athletes, which it's, is great. It's more than we've ever had. We're going to be in thirteen different sports, and with a little luck, maybe we'll get our ninth overall team championship in the last uh, 12 years so we, we've we've had a good run we have a collection of those trophies here at parker and, it's, and we still have some room for more we have room for more yes, yes, we, we do. expect you'll bring the gold home again there's I'm nothing hoping. like that experience the, what steve yeah. puts into it 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 is the it is one of my favorite experiences every every year i've gone uh, of, of being here at parker the community you you have with those athletic students and 
Um, there are quite a few people, I mean, as he says. And Absolutely. They and form think, a bond, and they do well academically, yeah, too. Right? And that's yeah. what I was going to ask uh, or point out is, is uh, I'm fortunate enough to go to a lot of commencements at this school, and we honor those who graduate with honors and, and valedictorians and salutatorians, and, so and a disproportionate number of Cairo Games athletes. So that's there's right. got to be something there. There's something, you know, one works with the other. I, I was interested in Logan's comments earlier about, in junior high and stuff when he felt a little displaced and all of a sudden athletics and his grades went up and his right. health went up and uh, there's a lot of value to to athletics and I'm, I'm proud that that uh, Parker University sees that and supports that absolutely we do and it, it certainly adds I think to the entire community students who are in an intense program like the chiropractic program here need a way to to sort of reboot and um, recalibrate yeah. and athletics and recreation is a great way to do that, and we're fortunate we have a program that you manage very well. So that's good. Oh, thank you. Well, Dr. Sherman, this is a season of, of pretty intense preparation for the next Dallas Marathon. Tell us where you are in your training. Well, you know, we're, we're pretty close to, uh, to the race. We're about, we're about five weeks out, and right. so uh, uh, I'm, I'm excited about it because that means we're, we're just a few weeks away from the taper and carbo loading. So uh, That's right. <laughs> um, that's what you look forward to. I, uh, you know, it's, it's been a, it's been a little transition this year. Uh, I've, I've started my own practice uh, about right. a year ago. Um, and, uh, you know, it, it was open about two months before, uh, the Dallas marathon and, and, you know, the Dallas marathon could have been a, a better, um, it couldn't have been anything better for our office. I mean, we have so mm -hmm. many people coming right. in and, and they know they're, they're going to be taken care of. I mean, we've had people that couldn't even walk, uh, you know, five miles and they finish a marathon. So, you know, I think yeah. the word is out that we're going to treat runners and we're going to treat runners how a runner would want to be treated. So, um, I'm, uh, I'm excited and, uh, you know, also just got married and we were just talking about That's that. Right. So congratulations. I've been, uh, it's been a busy year. So opening a practice, winning a marathon, getting married and, uh, we just had a busy uh, couple months, so I'm excited to see where training ends up being over the next couple of weeks, and uh, really putting down the, uh, putting in the effort, and and seeing what the uh, the good workouts end up being. And good. it's nice that we have some cooler weather this summer. I was, know. Uh, summer was long and intense. <laughs> it sure was. was. I've got I've got a question for you. you. You talked about all the things. You know, most most people have some life changing experience somewhere in their life several times. In the last couple of years. You've graduated from Parker, you've opened a practice, you've gotten married, and you won the Dallas Marathon, a, a lifelong goal. What of those four has changed your life more? I would say getting married. Is that yeah. <laughs> good answer, good there, answer. Dr. Sherman? Good yeah. answer. Very good. We have uh, one of my favorite quotes. Uh, it came out of the Dallas Marathon. It was a uh, Dallas Morning News after the marathon, and uh, we still joke about it today. My mother-in-law, my wife, and I. Um, I said, you know, I talked about opening the practice and I talked about winning the marathon and I talked about getting married in February and I said, you know, it's all downhill from here. <laughs> and that was the oh, last oh, sentence oh, boy. of the article. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure somebody cut that out. It's probably in a, yes. in a, a magazine or a, an album somewhere. So that, you, you'll be reminded of that. Yeah. Well, Park University is the official chiropractic sponsor of the Dallas Marathon. I think this will be our fifth year of doing that and we, we really treasure that relationship with them. Uh, the expo that takes place prior to the marathon is a wonderful opportunity for the runners and their families and their supporters to come by. And we ha we'll have a, a booth. We'll have a, a presence at the expo, which would certainly encourage anybody who's in that, that area to go by. Talk to Dr. Pat Bodnar, who's our director of clinics here. He'll be helping us with that. Dr. Sherman may be there. I know you'll be busy at that time, but it's exciting. And race day is just a thrill. I mean, it's just I've run a few marathons myself, and there's just nothing like I was a survivor runner, though. I was not an elite <laughs> runner by any means. I just wanted well, to finish standing up. I can tell you firsthand, um, in, in Logan's early days of marathon, because he did not run marathons until, really until you were a Parker student, um, I was fortunate enough to watch him. I, I, you know, I'd be a spectator, and actually a couple of times probably handed him some goo or some mm -hmm. other nourishment or something like that right. along the way. And watching him run in a couple of these events, especially in Fort Worth, I'll never forget handing him something, whatever, and he, I see him running into the distance and, and, and looking at him going, he's going to win this thing. He's going to win. He's going to win. And I got, I, I bet I teared up That's and got it. more excited than he oh, did crossing absolutely. the finish line. It was, it was an unbelievable feeling to, to, 
to see him progress like that and and to uh, to be a part of it just just from a fan standpoint and stuff. Uh, no. I, I'm a person who played baseball, so I never really thought distance running was real exciting until I saw him do it and oh, I yeah. see it at that level. And it's it's absolutely incredible what what Logan has done and and the feeling he gave the rest of the student body about running while he was a student here is, is absolutely, absolutely incredible. His influence is still being felt. Well, it's certainly a, a feature of uh, the athletic life here in Dallas. The Dallas Marathon really is something special. Coming up in just a few weeks, so we'll be watching you, Dr. Sherman. Hope that you'll, you'll do a good job. Know you will. You'll always represent the university so well, and we're proud of you for that. Good luck. Good Thank luck. You. Thank you all. And uh, Steve? All the best for the Cairo games. Thank you. Bring home the gold. Okay. Yeah, I'm not doing it myself. I got 105 students helping me. So yeah, but Logan's out of zone out you're, there. You're the you're the, the the glue that holds it all together. Well, thank you students very much. Students always say that. Well, this has been another edition of To Your Health. We hope that you enjoyed the program and look forward to having you come back and see us again next time. Thank you.